Day 11 here at the University of Colorado, past the halfway point of spring football. And you sound like it. Like, come on, man. Where's the energy? You were telling me, too, though. It's starting to feel like it's coming down to oh, an end. Oh, man. It what, feels like mid-August. What can you tell us about what you saw today, this week, really? Uh, so this week, I think that what has been the norm is consistency. Uh, I don't want to say the team has plateaued or anything because you have these crescendos during practice. But I think things are getting normal, getting to be routine. They know their assignments, alignments, techniques. So it's starting to look like clean football practices. Mm -hmm. uh, what I've been impressed with the most is still the running game. You know, I like what I'm seeing, you know, from the backs when they get their opportunities. Uh, you know, we just had a, a, a guy hit the portal. Uh, but today, today, you guys are getting it right now exclusive, and I'm going to give you the clip to drop in here. Ooh. Coach Prime, during the breakdown, called up Charlie off a doll. He said, Coach Flea, Charlie is now number two until I say otherwise. Wow. Yeah. The people are going to love that. Big moment. That's Big huge. moment. Yeah, That's good for Charlie, old man. Because he is just Mr. Damn Consistency. That's amazing. Uh, obviously, didn't work out with Shimon Mateo at tight end. <laughs> How have the other guys looked? They, they, one, one thing I've noticed about this portal stuff, right? You have relationships. These guys become friends. And you'll see, like, uh, Cameron Silverman Craig, when the safety leaves, like, oh, man, this feels different. That's my guy. But it doesn't show at practice. Mm -hmm. Like, these are pros. Like, they leave that. That's a locker room thing. I'm going to miss you, but I got to go to work. Yep. The tight ends today probably have one of their better days, work ethic-wise. Uh, today was focused on red, red zone. Two tight ends scored touchdowns. You know, so I don't think when a guy transfers out, it's like a pity party. It's like, no, this is my opportunity. Yep. Like, give me the ball. So is it primarily Savelle Smalls and Morgan Pearson who are working at tight end right now? No, here's the thing, man. I think, I think the, the, the media, the outside media, not the three of us, miss when Coach Prime says this. Everybody gets reps. Yeah. Everybody gets an opportunity. When you look at, again, I use the running backs. Scrimmage last week. Coach Flea huddled him up. He's got his chart, his script. He said, all right. Everybody should have about seven carries by now. Now, most programs would operate where Dylan would get 21 mm -hmm. and somebody else gets seven, yeah. you know. They spread it across. You're gonna get your chance to prove that you can be here. So tight end wise, all the guys got in the same number of plays, same number of passes directed to them. It's what you do with the ball. Mm -hmm. I guess if Charlie's number two, I gotta ask who's number one. I think, I think it's Dylan. Okay. Yeah, I think Dylan has is, is, is just been consistently uh, number one, uh, but Micah has shown that he is not a freshman when it comes to his running style. He looks, he, he's impactful like Dylan was last year, a true freshman who got here early. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to be in the mix. Love it. We've been talking about how the offense and defense have been going back and forth all throughout the spring. Who's been winning out this week? I'm going to still say the defense uh, has when I watch the trenches, mm -hmm. you know. There's a lot of times when the one-on-ones or seven-on-sevens are taking place. When I say one-on-ones, I mean on air. And then the seven-on-sevens are taking place. I'm down on the trench in the field because, you know, anybody can yeah, play seven-on-seven. playing seven. on air. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's nothing, nothing to watch there. So I love the intensity of the trench battles. It's not that the offensive line is, like, losing. I'm loving the energy of the defensive line. And I think they're feeding off Warren Sapp. I really do. Uh, he put in some work today, man. It's like. <laughs> He's not the guy's helmet off. Like, <laughs> With I will, his own I will give you that clip right here to put in, like, you know, to B-roll it. So he has the crayon zone, you know, yeah. and they're supposed to give swim moves in that. And he's, like, giving them the business. <laughs> like, he's, he is punching them. Like, it's not a, just a typical drill. Game ready, though. Yes. He's dripping with sweat. He's working. That's amazing. I love it. It's insane, man. Players of the day for us. I still want to go run game. I still got to go run game, man, because he just looks that damn good. Uh, but you can flip a coin between Micah and Dylan today. Okay. Yeah, you really can. Um, not to make this too long, but we just had some amazing press conferences today. <sighs> addressed a ton of issues, yeah. Coach Prime. And then we got, I think the first time ever, Shador and Shiloh yeah, together. Yeah, side by side, yeah. I mean, those guys are brothers in every sense of the word. They're on the same page and just how they talk about how yeah. they're leading this team forward and into this like college football era with the transfer portal. Like people just don't understand what's going on out here. It's, it's amazing how many things are commonplace in football. But when a Sanders does it, it's like the world pays attention. Mm -hmm. All across college football, players recruit players. Yeah. But now it's like, oh, did you see Shiloh Sweet? Now, now I'm not knocking it. I love it. Right. All, we want all the intention in the world. 
Uh, but it's beautiful to see that they recognize their gravitational pull mm -hmm. and they recognize what they see as players we need on this team depth-wise, competition-wise. And they reach out to them and they get feedback. They are our best ambassadors, man. Yep. Um, Coach Prime was very yeah. clear. We're good. Yes. Oh, we're yeah. good. We're good. We're good. And it's something that we know and we expect, but somehow every transfer, port transfer portal period, we go through this. It is always going to start with people leaving because yeah. it takes time for people to choose where they want to go. Absolutely. Yes. But everyone goes, oh, my God, Absolutely. everyone's leaving. Yeah, the exodus is always first. Uh, and I still challenge people like we did this time a year ago and doing it now. And I'm not picking on anybody, but football is about metrics. Look at the stats of who left. Look at their impact. And people push back, oh, this guy, he got playing time. Okay, what did he do with the playing time? Yeah. When I'm looking at 140 snaps and, and less than 10 tackles, You've been replaced already. Mm -hmm. You know, Coach Prime has preached to the staff and to this team, here's what we need. Who can help us win now? All right? Check that box. Who can help us win with development? Check that box. If you're not checking one of those two boxes, you're not going to play here. Yeah. If you're not going to play here, you should go look for opportunities somewhere else. Yes, definitely. Because you're not going to play here. 100%. And we're now practice 11, yep. three to the spring game. If you haven't proved you're a one or a two, it ain't gonna happen in these last three practices. For Pack sure. up, man. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I still think we talked about this last year. It's probably more beneficial for these guys to play in the spring game before they enter the portal. No, it is. And you but, have time. You know, that's the blessing of us, our calendar, our spring game is the twenty seventh, portal closes the thirtieth. Yep. Just you know, you have time to Get some practice film because Coach Prime will give you your practice film. Mm -hmm. So you can get your practice film, you can get your scrimmage game film, and then you can shop that around for your next school. Yep. Absolutely, Ryan. Great point. Uh, Saturday, practice 12, looking at another scrimmage. What's going on? Uh, it's clearly going to be inside. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got time. Yeah. We yeah. got time. Yeah, the weather, I think the weather has officially turned, but here's the beauty of it. It turned a week before the game. Yes. So it's going to be back 75 and sunny next week. Oh, yeah. But the high, high tomorrow, I mean, the high Saturday, I think it's like 46. Yep. Mm -hmm. Prime don't play that. We'll be inside <laughs> for the scrimmage. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to, again, uh, you know, like, like I discussed with y'all on our partnership show, I'm going to watch the penalties. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a list of the players who did it. We got a list of the units who did it. Is this scrimmage going to be cleaner than the last one? Can't wait. We'll find out. See you guys then.